Ya, entonces... ¿Cómo se hace esto? ¿Cómo se hace qué? Permite que inicie. Ya, inicia sesión. ¿Qué es el siguiente? Tenemos un friend-based speaker sheet. Uno. First class, todo bien. Cinco dólares. Manda hoy. Print now. ¿Verdad? Y ahora el friend-based speaker sheet. Love. Eh, card mirror, friend-date, y you can do it. Ajá. Eso es todo. Son cuatro stickers. Sí, cuatro.
entre raíces y ¿Es esto? Y de todas, y dejé una. ¿La dejo acá entonces? Yo creo que porque tenemos caleta en la casa. almost 5 p.m. it's Tuesday you already know that um, and today I've been spending most of my day doing admin work I took yesterday off because I've been feeling you guys so off lately um, last week I told you that I felt super unmotivated or like two weeks ago I told you I was feeling super unmotivated so um, and then I, I was trying to like both push myself but ironically also being more gentler to myself but I still had to like push through and like upload a video because I really wanna go the extra mile when it comes down to creating this extra content for you guys especially now that we need it the most but um, this week I decided to take it easy and that entailed <laughs> not uploading anything so i'm so sorry that me taking some time off means that sometimes i don't get to upload every single week to my youtube channel i'm, I'm so sorry that you have to pay the cost for me resting but i really needed to like regroup you guys i feel like in in, in the beginning of this whole pandemic all of my days were blending in and kind of they look all alike but now it's happening that all the weeks are blending in because almost all of my weekly um, structure is basically very similar i think it's very likely i mean maybe you're all going through and we're all going through the same thing right now but i'm trying to move things around now in my week so i have like this sense and feeling <laughs> that all my weeks now are shifting in terms of like activities. So that's what I'm doing this week, you guys. I'm doing things that are not, uh, are work related, obviously, but in a, in a different order, you know? Well, this is not work related, but um, today, you guys, I really wanted to, the train is passing by. Oh, you don't mind, it's fine. It's part of the ambiance. Um, as you guys saw last week, when Ned and I went to my studio, I managed to do these masks. It's my first time doing masks and of course there are so many flaws in them but I, I love them because of that, because of their flaws. But the thing is that right now I need to secure these like strips, stri strips because they kept falling off and um, I, will, I will love to double secure these bastards onto the mask. And also, I don't know if you can see, but like this mask, you guys, is super sheer and I would love to give like extra pieces of fabric, like two, one or two layers. So just so I can feel like there's extra protection in these babies, because otherwise it might be too, you know, not protective enough. So that's what I'm going to do right now and um, I've been listening to Elvis Costello. I need to finish today that album because I've been listening to it for a while now uh, because I keep like postponing it. So today I need to finish. Today I'm going to be done with you, Elvis. Marvelous Elvis Costello, because after that I need to go to Metallica, Master of Puppets, which 
I am kind of excited because Ed loves Metallica. It used to be one of his favorite band bands when he was a teenager. So in a sense, listening to Metallica is like getting to know 16 year old Ed or like 15 year old Ed or 14 year old Ed. I don't know. Ed now is going through finals. He's been like hooked onto his computer for days now. He has a paper due tomorrow. So it's been crazy around this household. The cats are sleeping and napping a lot. So we're all, we're all trying to do the best we can. Cats are trying to get a better sleep. Ellie's trying to finish, finish his final. I'm trying on the other hand to like get back to do more creative work. Uh, so yeah, that's the household update for y'all guys. Wait, let me see if I can show you what I want to do. I don't know if you guys remember, but a couple of videos ago, I did my own clay pens. The train's passing by. It's fine. Um, and I really, really wanted to do pins again. But I'm like, besides pins, is there any other thing that I would love to do? And I decided to do my own hair pins or clips. I don't know how do you say that. I think it's hair clips. So I order this two huge bags of alligator hair clips. I love the name of alligator. They're actually called alligator because you can open them like this. And I love them because um, you can use them whenever, I mean, whatever you want in your hair, even on your clothes, now that I think about it. And I ordered these two sizes only because I had no idea which one was going to be better for my hair. The thing with bleach hair, you guys, is that I have a lot of baby hair now. <laughs> and by baby hair, I mean, I have like really, um, uh, how do you describe that baby hair like chunks of hair that are coming out every time I pull my hair down or like hair up yeah every time I pull my hair up I'm like what a nice idea to have actually hair pins on your hair like this I don't know if you can see it's going to be a really weird angle I'm hoping I'm showing it correctly this is also the worst day for me to be showing you this because my hair is super greasy and I haven't dyed it in a while but I love the idea of using clay and do my own designs for hair clips I don't know if you can see but this one is the tiny one god it's super tiny uh, but it's it's so cute. So anyway today you guys I'm gonna see if I can draw some designs and get to the clay Thing as soon as possible because it's my favorite part Also, I have no idea if you can actually bake these things with the clay at the same time uh, so in order for the clay to settle or to get hard and permanent you need to bake it and I don't know if you can actually put this in the oven safely so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put like take this as a mold and um, I'm going to bake the clay separately and then I'm going to add it like paste this bastard into the clay design with super glue uh, so hopefully that is going to work I have no idea if it's going to work but I just, I just want to see how it looks because I think it's so cute, you guys. So let's get clay. But first, let's get to Lim because I need to think the designs first.
dry and honestly I didn't want to put some fresh glue on my hair so um, they actually look super sturdy like if I do this for example there's no lifting or no like separation between the pin like the clay and the silver silver metal thingy so it actually looks super sturdy if I can say that myself now I'm gonna try it in camera in front of you this is actually the hair <laughs> the hair piece how do you say that the piece of hair that inspired this whole thing so I've always wanted to have one of these hair clips in order to gently secure this thing um, I want to see how it looks but I have no mirror to check this wasn't very smart of me but I'm gonna make sure to model some of these bastards in front of you so you can see what they look like I actually wanted to incorporate multiple designs this time I wanted to do some decorative ones uh, some with dogs that to be honest the dog the dog doggy ones are my favorites I I just wanted to go wild and do all the crazy designs that I wanted to do so thank you so much guys for keeping me company throughout this process I really wanted to spice things up because I'm still feeling kind of unmotivated to like sit down and draw and this project was kind of really nice to change things around and do something with my hands um, I really really wanted to take the time to give a huge thank you to my patrons because 
they're the ones who are allowing me to survive during this pandemic <laughs> not only because they buy all of these crazy awesome art supplies for me i mean i buy them but they pay them uh but they also allow me to pay rent uh i i haven't been at my studio you guys in so long i mean i was there uh two weeks ago but it's um such a um, sad feeling to be paying for a studio and not being able to go there so i really wanted to thank my patrons for allowing me to keep paying rent and being able to keep that gorgeous space which makes me feel super lucky and like privileged to have and a studio in Brooklyn so it's only thanks to them I really wanted to thank you guys for supporting me for supporting the shop uh, by the time you're watching this video and I are going to be at the studio again safely handling your orders and I really wanted to thank you also if you're uh, supporting the shop I'm gonna make sure to upload some products uh, maybe even this hair pins in case you want some <laughs> but um, there's new tote packs coming up tote bags that my mom sue um, and she made with her own hands my mom is a retired nurse and uh, with this uh, she's also um, I don't know having a salary from like sewing tote bags which is something that she's really enjoying right now I mean that's at least what she's telling me <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for keeping me company in this video I hope you're having a wonderful Friday and weekend ahead and we'll see each other next week bye guys bye bye bye